too long. But once again, the Argentine within two points of levelling at a set of all. And is the tension creeping back into Graf's game? Certainly the errors are. Some of the hats on display today would look rather fetching at Royal Ascot. It's only a few weeks away, isn't it? Chipping and charging, Sabatini forces the error and moves to set point. Played. He's deserved this set. Three breaks have served ahead against just the one from Graf. Dennis Rolston and Osvaldo Sabatini pretty pleased about that, as well they might be. Argentine then will get the final set underway. Catch the back of the line. Well, certainly the linesman thinks so, and, uh, and the fact that she's not protesting, Gabby obviously believes it caught the back edge as well. I'm not so sure it did. In 1988, when Graf was on top of the world, winning her Golden Grand Slam, those are the sort of shots we used to see from her time and time again. Uh, rather more rarer species these days.
the ground grass approach showed it wasn't quite as aggressive as it might have been Good fortune gratefully received. Graf hasn't uh, missed a break point yet in this match. Sabatini's only missed one. Oh. <laughs> well, the net cords equalise themselves. But I think, uh, psychologically, the more important one is this one. Gabby's out of this rally totally. Deuce. No, it's wide. Well, that was a big game, one felt. Both players having points to win it, but it's Sabatini who moves ahead. One love in the final set. We'll be back in just a moment. Hans. So, some anxious German faces in the crowd as Steffi Graf serves. Love one down in the final set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no watch was going through her mind then. She had panic for a time. touch couldn't get a better play drop shot than this one Just skimming over the top of the net giving Sabatini no chance to run it down the South American football skills I've seen Gabby play many a game of soccer on the 
world circuit including uh, at Eastbourne where she'll be back the week before Wimbledon Just a little bit of impatience, I thought, in that last shot from uh, Sabatini. It was a very ambitious uh, winner to attempt. One all then, at once at all. Drop shot too obvious there, and the lob far too short. Graph hit it, Sabatini thought, is that going wide? But it had that little bit of side spin on it, and it was always creeping back into court. But he loved a 30 all. There's another huge point coming up. So she's going to hit the ball straight out. That Gabby got away with it for once. Uh, know how important this stage of the match is. Break point. Very tentative serve. Out. 
followed in fairness by a very brave second serve from the Argentine, which I think caught everybody, including Graf, by surprise. Third set point Graf has had in this set, second of this game. <laughs> and now the break point becomes the first break of the final set, Graf's ahead by two games to one and is that the turning point of this contest? Join us again after this commercial break. So, can Graf build on this first break of serve at the final set? 2-1 ahead she is. for trouble coming in on that one, Gabby. This approach lacking in pace, penetration and depth. I think that one just caught the line again and she got another bad bounce and the frustration of it all. No appeal that the shot from Sabatini was actually out. Yeah, well played. That was a very clever little backhand dink from Sabatini to set up the chance of the pass. Forcing uh, Graf to dig out the half volley. It's a couple of those now she's played where uh, footwork has been poor, the weight distribution has been all wrong, and uh, She's been leaning back and always likely to be a little late on the shot. is out, the chance was there instead, a chance for Sabatini to the level which is squandered
forma de alguna otra. Pick up oh, a really fine repost from Sabatini. Graf forced into playing the half volley and making it so well. So the German has daylight, but this is far too close a match to uh, say that uh, she's got it in her pocket. Sabatini a bit slow to get forward as you saw she was having to play the half volley from behind the service line she'd been quicker into the net she could have played a low volley although the net cord didn't help Sabatini backhand has lost its consistency. opportunity for Graf. Two points to take a 4-1 lead to win a fourth successive game and then the crowd I think will begin to relax just a little. Not too much but it'll be a commanding lead indeed. First she's got to take the opportunity. Go for broke shot. She had to win the point on that shot. And she was courageous and got her just rewards. So 1540 back to Juice and the game once again in the balance. So 
second serve, too short. Graf there, penalised for not coming in. She had so many chances to get to the net there. But she stayed on the baseline and she's paid a heavy price. Sabatini's still very much in this match. We'll be right back after this. Will Graf cope with the disappointment of not taking a 4-1 lead? She had two points to do so. Instead she leads 3-2, still with a break of serve in the final set of the Lufthansa Cup. German Open final. More news from the final of the Italian Open in uh, Rome. Jim Korea now leading Goran Ivanisevic by two sets to love. It's best a five set match. Korea blasting his way through the Croat, 6-1, 6-2 at the moment. It's probably an unfortunate turn of phrase, isn't it? Considering the situation in the old Yugoslavia. I said that he's overwhelming him. Now this match has lasted. Nice. Another one of those shots that appears to uh, clip the back of the line and just shoot through. Oh, I'm not sure it was that shot. So that was the right replay, to be honest. Well, now then, Sabatini looks certain to fall 4-1 behind, and now his her chance to level at three all. I suspect. Graf might have done more with this. It wasn't very deep the forehand drive, but uh, she was in the right position to cut off the volley. If you have a shoulder high volley on clay courts, you must make it count. You cannot give the player at the baseline a second bite at the cherry. Well, the crowd enjoying this as well they might. Certainly I am. I hope you are too. Yeah. 
Oh, well, another one of those go for broke winners from Sabatini. Top draw stuff from both players. And that's a perfect forehand. Every game now being hotly contested. All but one in this set have gone to juice. ahead 4-2 but it might have been 3-all Extraordinary rally. Sabatini had given up the point, but her shot still came in. And then the next one from Graf hit the line and just shot on. Yeah. Well, at least you can see the funny side of it all. I suppose I shouldn't be tempted to say so, but after that cutaway of the train, I'll say the graph is suddenly coming on like an express train. Three break points for a 5-2 lead. Surely she's not going to miss this opportunity. She isn't. Graf moves to within one game of a seventh German Open title. She'll serve for the match when you come back after this commercial break. Sabatini needing to break serve to stay in the match. Graf serving for the German Open title. 5-2 in the final set. <laughs> Graf can't afford to relax just yet, and certainly his daughter can't.
Well, is there to be another twist in this plot? Two break points. Sabatini gets one of the breaks back. The final chapter is not yet writ. that awaits the birthday girl. She'll be 23 today. But will she be celebrating as a winner? Still not beyond the realms of possibility. becoming nervous on the point of victory. some pedagogues left the captain of the German Federation Cup team. <laughs> <laughs> 